Hello, welcome back. I am Statman David. Today we're going to be taking a look at who is Jude Bellingham and why Manchester United, Chelsea and the rest of Europe are looking to sign this 16-year-old wonder kid. Remember to subscribe if you're new, turn the notification bell on and like that goddamn video. Anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Stourbridge on the 29th of June 2003, Jude Victor William Bellingham is an England under-17 international who plays for Birmingham City. So far, he spent his full but short career at Birmingham City, joining the club as an under-8 in 2010. He made his under-23 debut at just 15 on October 2018 against Nottingham Forest's under-23s, coming on as a substitute on the 60th minute before scoring the winner on the 87th. He made his senior debut for Birmingham City on August the 6th, 2019 in the EFL Cup defeat to Portsmouth, making his first league appearance just 19 days later in another 3-0 defeat against Swansea in the Championship. Bellingham made his home debut less than a week later, scoring the winner against Stoke City after coming on as a substitute on the 30th minute. Over the next two weeks, the Birmingham man made his under-17 debut as a substitute in the 2019 Serenka Cup against Finland and then was a starter against Austria, where he capped in the side, scoring in both games. He retained his position for the final against Poland, where England's under-17s won the tournament on penalties. After returning from international duty, Bellingham was given his full debut against Charlton Athletic, again scoring the winner. His meteoric rise from a hot prospect in the under-23s to first-team match winner was rewarded by the EFL Young Player of the Month Award for November 2019. And his first-team debut smashed Trevor Francis' 49-year record of being Birmingham's youngest ever player by 101 days. Impressively for a struggling Birmingham City side this season in the Championship, Bellingham has been directly involved in five goals in 24 appearances, a rate of a goal or assist every 3.3 games. But where does he play? A versatile footballer, Bellingham has played the majority of his football as a central midfielder, but has the experience of playing on either flank, in defensive midfield, attacking midfield, and even as a striker. What's obvious about Bellingham is his size and intensity. Despite not turning 17 until June, he already stands at over six foot tall and should continue to grow. Without the ball, he's often the first to engage it, and he fully commits. It's this intensity combined with his strength that sees him win the ball back so frequently. If he's doubling up, Billingham takes up an intelligent position where he's ready to pounce on an opponent if his teammates doesn't win the ball back. I think this is what's so striking about Bellingham. He's not only got the frame and the physique to outmuscle opponents, but the intelligence and work rate to maximize his game. We mentioned his versatility, but what's interesting is he actually plays differently in different positions. When he's played centrally, he's more of a box-to-box -box midfielder, using his physicality and intensity to add aggression to the midfield. This season, he's averaged 19 challenges per 90, a number comparable to elite ball winners, Wilfred Didi and Ngu Locante, but he's so much more than an aggressive ball winner. He's got excellent technical ability and the dribbling ability to boot. His great first touch and quick feet make him excellent in tight situations with the tricks to unbalance defenders and either play a pass or go past them. He's got a bit of everything about his dribble, from Cruyff turns to drag backs to step overs and spins. What's more, he's got a really aggressive and direct passing style. In the final third, he seems to favour the tough pass that will create a goal when sometimes a better pass is on, but his execution and decision making will improve with age. Something that's particularly impressive for his age is off the ball movement, which really highlights his intelligence. He's happy to move into space wherever it is on the pitch. What's more is that he seems to understand the benefits of completing runs. In Birmingham's 1-1 draw with Cardiff, he had a great chance on the 29th minute. Birmingham with the ball on the right hand side, the space is out wide on the right and Billingham makes that run. As the ball is crossed, instead of halting his run and getting picked up, he continues his run, leaving him unmarked for the knockdown. Whilst it's disappointing to miss the target from close range, his intelligent movement created that chance, moving away from where everyone was dragged to. When Bellingham plays on the flank, he's more of an inside forward where he looks to move into the number 10 area. From the flank, he still uses his attributes we mentioned before, but instead of looking forward for the press, he often gets more defensive responsibilities going backwards, which he doesn't shirk. In the incredible 5-4 defeat to Leeds, he played on the right flank and was tested by tracking Bielsa's wing backs when defending, which he did excellently, getting into shape quickly whilst tracking runs. He made a fantastic tackle on Helder Costa in the transition, starting from the edge of Leeds' box, chasing Costa down and to win a tackle 20 yards inside his own half. 
but he took his goal really well, which again highlights his game intelligence. Birmingham with possession on halfway. Dean draws pressure and plays it to Colin. Bellingham checks his run and takes up a position in between all three Leeds defenders, who can't really mark him. Ailing has to mark Jukovic, White has to cover the route to goal, and Alioski tries to cut the lane, leaving Bellingham free to receive touch and finish a really well taken goal, starting from that inside position. So what's next from the talented Englishman? Under the EFL's rules, Billingham can only sign a professional contract in June when he turns 17. His performances in the Championship have attracted many suitors. Despite this, his current scholar contract expires in 2021, so Birmingham don't have to worry about losing him on a free and going through a compensation claim. With that being said, there's a lot of interest with both Chelsea and Manchester United being linked to £25 million moves. If reports are to be believed, Birmingham are only willing to accept offers that will see Billingham remain at St Andrews for around 18 months to continue his development and that would be a fantastic move for all parties. In recent years we've seen young players get minutes in the Championship, performing well before transferring their form to the Premier League with the likes of Tammy Abraham, James Madison, Jack Grealish, Emilio Bundia all performing well in the Premier League after stints in the second tier. And Billingham could continue his insane development playing week in week out for Birmingham before being ready to step up to one of the Premier League's big boys at just 18 years old. But anyway guys, what do you think? Who will be Jude Bellingham's parent club next season? Let me know in the poll above and in the comments below. I've been Statman Dave and we will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe and like that goddamn video. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel? Thank you.